What's going on guys, Robbie here, and today we're taking a look at the Nerf Zombie Strike Crosscut Blaster. Uh, so, <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in this Nerf Blaster, you can go ahead and click the link below in the description. Uh, go down to Entertainment Earth and just do a search for Crosscut, it'll bring you to this guy. Um, so, this gun retails between $15 and $20, depending on where you might find it. And uh, it's got a saw blade on it. I don't know if you guys saw that right away, but um, it does have a saw blade. Uh, it's got a very interesting design. Obviously, there's like a, a wrench kind of molded in here, which is sort of kind of weird. I, I, it, it looks like it's meant to be made up of all kinds of various parts. Looks like you got a little, uh, well, I don't know if it's part of a bicycle chain or part of a chainsaw or whatever. Uh, but you got this going on, of course, the... Um, the uh, the wrench and just various bits and bobs and this looks like it might be a bubble blowing wand <laughs> I don't know honestly um yeah so yeah two triggers obviously this one is to fire the dart and th this one is of course to uh, send this thing a spinning and it actually uh, does a pretty good job and it is just a soft foam uh, blade, but we'll get more into that, uh, you know, as we actually get this guy out of the package. It comes with four darts, which I'm assuming are, uh, okay, darts located beneath platform, I guess, because people stealing darts, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, mission, cut a path to freedom. Target any zombie within reach. Location, tight spaces. Function, buzzsaw and blaster. Results, messy. Parentheses, ew, parentheses. How about that? Spin saw blade, yada, yada. Yada yada. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the package and we'll check him out right now. Alright guys, the Nerf Zombie Strike Crosscut. Here it is in all of its weird, weird glory. And uh I, what 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 can I even say about this? Um <clears throat> as you can see, as I mentioned before, it's it's very different looking for sure uh, it's got the you know of course the ranch all the the different bits and bobs which is gonna make this a real annoying piece to paint I can just tell like right away uh, so I'm not entirely sure where I'm sitting on that right now also uh, the, the fact that I'm not sure honestly how how this uh, foam bit will take to paint uh, so I'm really not sure about that. I'm kind of on the fence uh, about this thing in that regard. But I can show you guys the uh, weapon itself. And of course, you do have the saw blade here. Uh, and you fire that by pulling this secondary trigger down below. And it is just a soft foam blade. You're not going to actually cut anything. And it does not have nearly enough power to keep going were you to hit anything anyway. So I can just like get it, you know, going and it's not going to, uh, you're not going to cut your hand open or cut your finger off. Like it's a big squishy foamy gooey nothing nothing at all um so yeah i mean as long as you uh, don't have any false sense that this is actually some sort of you know actual weapon that that could be used you know effectively uh you're, you're gonna be just fine but um you know overall it's it's not it's not terrible uh you do get four zombie strike darts in this set, two of which fit in the blaster at once. There is no uh, weapon storage, uh, unfortunately, so that's that's kind of a bummer. And you, of course, fit two in at the same time, and you fire it by pulling this big, giant uh, bubble stick, um, and then it will fire one of the two darts, and then just fire the second dart and just reprime it and it fires the second dart. Um, so, I mean, that's, it's, you know, as far as Nerf Blasters go, it's pretty much as basic as you can possibly get. Uh, the whole draw, the whole gimmick of this thing is, of course, the uh, saw blade, which I will admit, it makes a really cool sound.
so I mean that's cool <laughs> uh, but other than that I mean it's it's pretty much just a very very basic handgun and you know very obvious priming mechanism which is a little little bit of a bummer I would like to I mean maybe if I could drill a hole in this thing and uh, like just stick something through it so that it kind of sits you know cut this off so that it sits flush back here and you just kind of grab this and pull it back uh, that might be a little bit better but um, you're not supposed to uh, modify darts or dart blaster according to this very very hard to read little plastic uh, lettering here. Do not aim at eyes or face. To avoid injury, use only darts designed for this product. Do not modify darts or dart blaster. Yeah, no promises there, Hasbro. No promises. But you covered your butt, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, other than that, not really much else to say. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun, and I'm, I'm interested to see what else that they come up with. I saw some more uh, Doomlands blasters at Target, uh, so I may, you know, pick one or two of those guys up and uh, and show those off. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a fun novelty, uh, but it's purely aesthetic. That that's all you're getting out of this is that uh, it's aesthetic. I guess you could use it in nerf battles, but I'm not sure how exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, but I mean, other than that, it, it's kind of a cool looking, I mean, it's cool looking, that's for sure. So uh, if you're interested in how cool it looks and, you know, you like just regular blasters, if you want, you know, a nice, it's not overly large, it's a nice, decent size. And of course, it's got the convenient saw blade on the end. You can pick one of these up. You can uh, find it, of course, at Entertainment Earth. The link is down below in the description, so check it out there. And uh, you can find a whole bunch of other brand new spanking Nerf guns there as well. So do check it out. And uh, if you happen to purchase something, you know, use that link. It might, uh, it might help me out a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I should have more Nerf and hopefully a painting project or two coming up real soon. So stick around for that in the meantime thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now